Ramel and Dina. Uh, here's a couple of those drawings that we looked at the other day. And, um, and we were looking at really just why some of them do work and why some of them aren't working. Some of these are the ones that um, we we looked at, we discussed, we worked at why um, we're not going to use them. Um, really to do with the spaces uh, around the pool. So here's that example where we put the pool fences between the house and the, and the boundary fence so that we could have access to the laundry door and to the toilet and be able to get to this lawn space. But the kids can't be able to um, access the whole property. And same deal with this one. Uh, first pool fence hits the corner of the house and the second one does that little dog leg around the um, laundry door. And that was kind of clunky and really relegates the, um, the pool area. So what we ended up uh, doing is coming up with a couple of concepts where um, the pool fence runs between the pool and the house. Uh, kids have got free run of the property. Once we go and put that front fence in, the sliding gate, all of that, um, there's good security there and the kids can um, have, have really just have full access to the, to the property and we don't need to use that um, screening for pool fencing. So we come down a nice paved area at the end of the pool. Um, this is now eight by four. Uh, two by two meter spar at the end um, and enclosed with pool fencing. At this end uh, I've put this full side pavilion, outdoor kitchen uh, and of course you've got this easement at the end of the property where I've got mm, this fire pit, uh, garden and so on. So we've got, we've actually taken down, as we discussed the other day, we've taken down your existing um, shade structure um, veranda along the back of the house here and built a built an all new roof and so there's, there's plenty of skylights in here and it really just goes from boundary to boundary um, and we were talking about what we can do if we're going to have the outdoor kitchen on one side do we um, what are we going to do with this corner here so I've taken this around the corner I've put a wall in here we will put a gate on the end here before this window and we'll probably end up extending the decking out to that out to that wall uh, and just making better use of this space here. I really want to get rid of all the trees at the back of the property. They are generating too much shade and blocking out light. Um, and this little structure here, now I've drawn it built over the easement. Now technically we cannot build over the easement with these structures um, and we won't get building permits to do so. But I've drawn it in uh, just to be able to demonstrate that this is something that you could possibly do um, later on. The blue line that runs through there is demonstrating a pipe that is underground yeah, and will also have some ramifications uh, as to how close to that pipe we can get. Uh, another 8 by 4 meter pool, you can see that the space between um, the pool and the pool fence is quite tight. There's a nice little bit of paving at the other end of the pool, there's a lawn for the kids to be able to play on the lawn once they're inside the pool and probably this would be maybe a little bit later on um, when they're a bit older. So we could re-divert that pool fence back to the side boundary if we wanted to get the clothesline in there for, for easy access or you come straight out of the laundry door, you go through the pool gate and we can still put the clothesline there. In this scenario, I didn't put the trees down the side here. That garden bed is getting really, really tight. It's only half a meter from the edge of the excavation to the fence. And I took out the wall on the end of this structure here as well. But I think I might put it back in. Um, I don't quite like it being open like that. And then I've just got a little tiny little bit of space for some seating next to the spa. And that paving it goes hard up against the um, hard up against the easement line and again complications with the location of that pipe um, that do need to be resolved. So here's the lounge um, suite directly opposite this fire pit and screen on the boundary. All that all that foliage is gone. Really trying to keep the foliage in there low. New structure replacing your current veranda has gone from boundary to boundary. Um, and you can see that we're buying buying a lot more space on this new decking. It, it comes out another seven or eight hundred mil what you've got. And, and so here is what I was talking about before. Where we move the um, the outdoor kitchen to this wall. We can put TVs on here. We can put cabinetry. There's going to be a gate on this corner here. Uh, and suddenly this this corner where your doors do open up to suddenly becomes um, a whole lot more usable. And this becomes really your, your primary go to area. It connects really well with the house. And um, uh, it, it, it sort of makes sense to have all that next to where your, your sliding doors are at the moment. 
and then you come along the side here you get to the pool fence and then you go obviously through the pool gate to be able to get into the pool area and there's enough space there for um, parents to be able to, to lounge around and watch kids and stuff inside the pool if you don't want to go swimming so that's where we got to the other day have a look and um, let me know if we're still on track and we'll go from there